your first alert forecast with meteorologist Laura Hartman, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Our poor lug nuts can't catch a break. Yesterday it was rainy and cold. Today it's cold and windy. Baseball needs sunshine, Laura. You have some work to do. <laughs> and warm temperatures. <laughs> Last night they had it and they got a one. So I'm hoping the cold really didn't matter too much for them. Um, but taking a look at this forecast, it's kind of dismal. We do have sunshine, so that's some good news. But we have those cold temperatures sticking around, only making small improvements day by day. Let's start off with our current temperatures. It's pretty chilly outside, and you can expect a very cold start to Wednesday. We're already in the low 40s, even upper 30s to the north. Ithaca and Owasso in those 30s and Lansing hanging out to 41 degrees, Mason at 40, as well as Howell, 43 in Jackson. But, of course, it feels so much colder. Those wind chills are in the mid-30s. And look at the difference just the last 24 hours has made. Now, of course, there was a bigger separation in temperatures between yesterday afternoon and this afternoon. At this point yesterday, temperatures started cooling down, but we're still between about 15 to 20 degrees cooler tonight than what we were yesterday. And you'll find that with tomorrow morning as well. We were in the 40s this morning, and... Tomorrow will be in the low 30s and even 20s possible. Now, wind speeds have finally started to calm down, so it certainly won't be as breezy tomorrow, but we will still keep the, the north winds, and that's going to mean a pretty chilly day. It's going to be really hard to warm up with all that cool air in place. Now, notice satellite radar is dry, and we're going to see those clouds really part as well, so mostly clear night for us. And starting tomorrow, sunshine. That'll help at least a little bit, right? It'll feel warmer, trust me, especially with those lack of winds, but it's going to take a while to get back to the even 60 degrees that we had just this past weekend. 70s doesn't look like we're going to be seeing those anytime soon. So sorry about that, but high pressure will help give us a beautiful Wednesday anyway, and this will stick around for the entire day. So a lot of sunshine, not too many clouds until we get to the evening hours, and that'll help keep our temperatures at bay for Thursday morning. We won't be falling to freezing that night. But look at the warm front coming through. That'll help our temperatures at least a little bit, and we'll see those temperatures getting to about the low 60s. So not 70s, but at least at least it's better. And we've got rain showers coming our way as well. Now this model shows just a few coming in for the early morning hours and into the afternoon, but most of them will be staying off to our west until the overnight time or at least late evening time. So don't count on too many showers until we get to Thursday overnight and Friday through the daytime. I want to show you the upper air. This is the jet stream pattern and these colors, of course, coordinate with our temperatures that come down to the surface. Notice these greens and blues. Those are our colder temperatures that we've had come down to the surface, and we're gradually starting to see those colors become lighter shades of yellow, which means warmer air for us to look forward to. We talked about those 60s on Thursday. Well, we're going to get those for Friday as well. Even warmer day, but we'll have some rain showers on Friday, and then our cold front comes through for Saturday and Sunday. We're in the low to mid 50s for both of those days, but they do look sunny. 31 for tonight, and those skies are clearing. It'll be a very cold start to tomorrow, and only making it to those mid and upper 50s for the afternoon highs. It'll be mostly sunny though. Very nice day ahead. And Thursday is a great start as well. But by the afternoon, we're going to see the clouds coming in and then the showers as well. And they're sticking around for Friday too. Now, Saturday and Sunday, not really as warm as what we <laughs> have had for some weekends, but at least it'll be sunny and nice. And then the rain showers move in Monday and Tuesday. So no 70s sad face right here. <laughs> sad face. <laughs> but 60s are good too. Well, and sunshine's good. That'll help. Oh, sunshine's you know. always great. Excellent. Thank you, Laura.